Anaerobic respiration is a process where glucose is broken down into lactic acid and energy is released in the form of ATP. Learn the equation. Notice the process doesn't need oxygen, but sadly, we can't do this for very long. Aerobic respiration is for everyday activities and low intensity exercise like jogging. Anaerobic respiration is used for high intensity exercise such as sprinting. Muscles need energy. That energy comes normally from ATP that is made during aerobic respiration. Remember that cells need a constant supply of oxygen from the blood to complete aerobic respiration. When we exercise vigorously, our muscles demand more energy because they are working harder. So in theory, they need more oxygen reacting with glucose via aerobic respiration. The trouble is, your body can't supply oxygen fast enough to the cells to meet the energy demand if the exercise is too vigorous. We know from experience that during exercise, our breathing rate increases, as does our heart rate, in an effort to supply the cells with enough oxygen when we exercise. The muscle cells are demanding more energy, but the oxygen isn't coming in fast enough. So, they start to break down the glucose into lactic acid, which releases some ATP. The problem is, lactic acid is harmful to the body. It causes muscle cramp and weakness. That means the body has to break it down at some point. The trouble is, you need oxygen to do that. So at some point, your body gives up exercising because the lactic acid buildup is too high. Once you stop exercising, the body still needs to use up extra oxygen to break down the lactic acid. And we call this an oxygen debt. You will have noticed that after a sprint, you are still breathing heavily and your heart rate is high as the body still needs to get lots of oxygen into the blood and deliver it quickly to the cells. That extra oxygen is needed to break down the lactic acid. For higher tier, you also need to know that anaerobic respiration is less efficient than aerobic respiration because of the incomplete breakdown of glucose. Less ATP is produced per molecule of glucose in anaerobic respiration than in aerobic respiration. Exam questions on this topic are answered poorly because you normally have to interpret awkward looking data into strong exam friendly answers. This data shows us the heart rate and the lactic acid in blood of an athlete before, during and after a 200 meter sprint. The race started at the three minute mark and lasted around 25 seconds. We need to explain the data using our knowledge of anaerobic respiration and oxygen debt. Prior to the race starting, we can identify what a normal level of lactic acid is on the graph. Then, at the three minute mark, as the race starts, we see a rise in lactic acid in the blood. Between four minutes and seven minutes, we see a gradual decline in lactic acid levels in the blood. The athlete had an oxygen debt that lasted four minutes. As lactic acid levels in the blood did not return to normal, until the seven minute mark. The heart rate is higher during the period of exercise because the muscle cells require more oxygen to be supplied to them by the blood so they can aerobically respire more. If there is not enough oxygen supplied to the muscle cells, then anaerobic respiration starts to take place. The heart rate remains high after the race because extra oxygen is required to break down the excess lactic acid and repay the oxygen debt. More blood needs to be supplied to the cells to repay the oxygen debt. The heart rate returns to a resting rate once the lactic acid has been broken down to normal levels. In the next lesson, we will learn about the structure of the respiratory system.